In the previous video, we saw that there are several ways of querying your MapMate data direct from the data entry window. For instance, you can put in a year, press enter, go to query and show all the records for that year. There's another query in that query menu that allows you to have some control over which columns appear in the report that you get from running the query. And that's something that MapMate calls an F9 custom query. Before you can run this query, you have to go in and configure it. So the first thing to do is to click at the bottom of this list on Configure F9 Custom Query. The window that opens up here shows you on the right-hand side which columns are already in the query that you're going to run. And on the left-hand side, there's a whole range of different types of information that MapMate can put into the results of the query. To set this up the way you want it, you need to find the information that you want to include. So perhaps in this case we'd like to show the family to go with the scientific name in our query. So we highlight it on the left hand side, click the add button and it goes over to the right hand side. And having put it there you can move it up and down in the list so that it appears where you want it to in the final report. Let's try some other options. We've got the site name here but at the moment we're not including the grid reference so I'll highlight that add that. For some of the items in the left hand list it may not be immediately obvious what they actually are uh, but you can of course include them and see what they do and then decide whether or not you wish to keep them. There are some things here that are quite hard to get at elsewhere in MapMate. For instance the site description if you've included a site description when you set up sites on your copy of MapMate that doesn't appear in the standard queries but you can if you wish add it to this custom query. Another thing that doesn't often appear in the standard queries is the start date and end date as two separate columns. They usually get combined into one. But by choosing them here, you can have them in two separate columns in the report that you run. So as you can see, there's a whole range of options here that you can choose to add to your custom query. When you're happy with the setup that you've got, you click on OK. Go back to your data entry window, fill in the information you want so that they count as valid fields. In this case, we'll just leave it with the year 2004. Go to the query menu, and this time you can actually run the records custom query. And it will produce a report based on the columns that you've chosen. So in the example here, we added the family column, and we added the start date and end date in two separate columns there. Once you've set up an F9 custom query, it will retain the columns that you've chosen until you change it again, which you can do at any time by going back to the query menu, back into configure, and you can click and remove, or you can click and add and move things around as you wish, and every time you click on OK, that is then saved as the current setting for the custom query, and that's what will appear when you next go to run the records custom query.